Hey everybody, RK Stud back with you again. Another video. Y'all might have figured out by now. Uh, I'm into sports and pop culture and comic books and all that good stuff. Well, today I decided to share just a little bit more with you. Um, here's a stack of autographed pictures I've received through the years. Through conventions or wrestling shows or whatever. And maybe we'll go through and have a little story with some of them. Okay, let's start off. Beulah McGillicuddy. This I bought from RF Video. I think we can pretty much see why. Hopefully YouTube doesn't ban it for that. Okay. Independent wrestler Metalhead Steve Stone. Back in about 2009-2010. He was really big here for World Wrestling down in Lima, Ohio. He was their champ. Uh, he drove all the way from, my, from wherever he was from. I forget where he's from. But he was pretty good. Next one. This is Felix Silla. A little person. He started in TV over the years. He was cousin it and the Adams family. Of course, Twiggy and Buck Rogers. I got to meet him after after my local comic shop guy was working the convention and got the sign for me. I got to meet him. 2010 and got a um, he signed a picture for my mom. Very nice guy. Okay, this is the fallen angel Christopher Daniels. He came to Fremont a few times to wrestle for hybrid wrestling. Pretty nice guy. Okay, independent wrestler. Superstar Shark Boy. Some of you may know him through his portrayal of his parody of Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's another one signed by Shark Boy. It says I'm truly one of the best shark marks around because he's one of my favorite wrestlers. So I knew a whole lot of him. And I won that through an internet contest. Buff Bagwell. And, uh... He did sign this to RK Stud. <laughs> I got him to do that. Okay. Really can't see it on here. The next one you might be able to see. Yep. This was a package from my LCS guy. He got them at a convention for me. Um, I So I finally got to meet him at a convention and thanked him for them pictures because I was being nice. And Raven was being Raven. He was like, oh, whatever, buddy. I'm like, I just want to thank you. Because you did that. Because you were so nice. Whatever. Okay. Sorry state for Sonny to be in right now. Being in jail for killing a dude. Behind your car. Yeah I don't know what happened to her. Yay. Yeah. This is from D'Lo Brown. Uh, he came to an MWF show here in Fremont. And my friend had made a <laughs> six hour greatest D'Lo Brown matches, a D'Lo Brown compilation, which he, which D'Lo took. And instead of me paying for the picture, he just took, he gave me a couple free autographs. 
And then to find out that he was selling copies of them on his website for my friend. Oh. Let's see. Say hello to the blue guy. The blue meanie. Okay, this is Gil Gerard. He played Buck Rogers. Another one my LCS got for me. Margot Kidder. Another one my LCS guy got for me. This one says to Robin, play with me. Love Jasmine St. Clair. Well, <laughs> I don't think so. You're pretty, but nah, that's okay. I don't think he would feel me. Okay, this is signed by Michael Turner. Late comic book artist. Okay, this is a picture of Nigel McGinnis that he signed for me. If you follow me on my other on my Facebook page, RK Retro Wrestling, where I show Wrestling matches that are, at, they've got to be at least five years or older. Uh, right now, over there, I'm showing off a bunch of Claudio Castagnoli matches and from Ring of Honor, and Nigel's in a few of them. Okay, this is Independent Wrestler the Immaculate JDP. JDB. Um... He also started up and ran hybrid wrestling for a few years. Uh, he gave me, in fact, he gave me my start in wrestling. So I got to be part of one of hybrid shows. Okay, another independent wrestler, Vincent Nothing. Okay, now this is Christian Faith. He no longer wears the mask and he's independent star Ricky Shane Page for Combat Zone Wrestling and other independents. So I was glad to still see him going. Okay, this is the late test. I got to see him at a war show down in Lima a few years ago. Well, more than 10 years ago. We all know he passed away. War hardly brings in stars. So once when they do, they're very... Once in a while. Okay. This is Aaron Gray. This I also got from my LCS guy. Of course, she played Wilma and Buck Rogers, and she was also Kate in Silver Spoons with Ricky Schroeder, one of my earliest crushes, along with Daisy Duke. All right, and I just got this one not too long ago. This is independent wrestler Crash Jackson. He's making a scene. He's making a wave in the independent scene. Then you might want to look him up, too. And this is the flyer, the little page booklet for WrestleMania, a sweet celebration. Uh, to the late Stevie Lee. You can open it. Made sure Mrs. Stevie Lee signed it. Sin Bodhi signed it. Scott Demore signed it. Stevie Lee's daughter signed it, Brittany. I forget who all signed on the show. There is just a bunch of people that were here and were supposed to be here. It 
So I know Robbie McAllister right there from the Highlanders. The shell card kind of changed a little bit. Due to some people no showing like. I can't remember if David Flair showed up or not. But I know Eric Young also showed up. Did I get his autograph? I can't remember. If it was, it'd be in the booklet. And Gail Kim no showed. <clears throat> now, if you'll excuse me for one second. I gotta take you up and show you just a couple more. So they're the only ones I bought eight by tens for. Alright. It's a picture from Clerks with Marilyn Gigliani signed and Brian O'Halloran. And if you could tell, that was the famous 37 line. I had to buy that picture and bought it originally from Maryland and then I brought it, brought it to another convention for Brian. And he got a kick out of that. And then, if you see my other video on my YouTube history, you can not be, and I told you about our first ever professional interview was with Marina Sirtis. And there's her autograph right there. The only reason I picked this out, sorry for the lighting, was because off the play of Robin Hood. And Robin being my name. Uh, so yeah, there you have it, folks. Sorry it was a little wordy. Um, we'll see you again for another video.